A mindset issue that a lot of players come by tends to be that they only want to upgrade things that are like the best, right? If it's not the best, it's not good, which doesn't really make sense or really work for a game like this. So I try to explain it this way. Let me draw a quick diagram here. It's a very simple triangle. Well, pyramid in this case. But this is an example, all right? This is, this is your absolute bottom gear. Bottom gear. And this is your top gear. Right, this is like your 5% level gear. Like this is the top 5% up here. So a lot of people try to only upgrade this. For some reason, it's always like, if it's not up here, it's not good enough for me. You know, they're like, if it's down here, it's just a big sell, right? I don't agree with that. And the reason I don't agree with that is because it's really, really hard to improve your top end 5% gear. The goal should be for most accounts. The goal should be to upgrade this level and always keep things that are better than this. So basically, you want to keep everything that's better than a little bit above your bottom line. So everything in the bottom here, in the bottom here, this is fit. This is what I call fill gear. Fill gear. So this is your bad substats. Generally, your rings and necks. Your bad immunity gear. So this stuff is stuff that you keep because you have to keep it, right? You don't have any other choice. You don't have any other option. Um, but sometimes you have things that are like bad chess pieces, you know, overall the stats aren't very good, but you keep them because you, you need it, right? You need that extra piece of gear to build a unit that you're using, right? This top end gear, this is your like 18 plus speed. This is your like 20 plus crit chance. You're like 30% attack, HP, defense, etc. Right? This is this is your really, really good gear that's rolled really, really well. Either like your top end purple gear or your really, really good red epic gear, right? Um, this is all the gear. This is like this is all the gear that's like decent, right? This stuff is like, this stuff is like probably two rolls and something decent. So like, you know, you got like 14 attack and like 12 crit or something, right? It's decent, but it's not like the best, quote unquote, right? That's good gear. Stuff down here, this is like, this is like 13 crit and no extra rolls or like 26 HP and nothing else. Stuff like that, right? Your bottom gear, this is your stuff. This is like your like three speed with like two flats or your like 10 crit, no speed, no attack, right? This is your like terrible, terrible gear, right? A lot of people get stuck in this mindset when they're playing this game. And I see it all the time. I see it all the time. People get stuck in this mindset where they're like, if it's not here, I don't want it. I disagree with that. Stop having that mentality. The reason you need to stop having that mentality is because you sell things that can be upgrades to the middle end. So oftentimes those people will sell things that can upgrade here. They'll sell things that can upgrade here, which is what you need to be doing. The goal is always to improve this line right here. You want to progressively increase the standard of this blue line, but you don't want to, you don't want to do it at a really, really fast pace, right? You want to have enough gear to do all the content that you care about and all the content that's important.
right? Just because something isn't like a perfect PvP gear does not mean that it can't be perfect for your Wyvern's 11 team, right? Your Wyvern's 11 team, once you get into like the further ends of the game, once you start focusing on PvP, your Wyvern's 11 team doesn't have to be your best geared team. It just has to work, right? So I apologize as a streamer and as a content creator um, because it's kind of our fault that you guys do this. Um, kind of, and I use that as a very loose term. Uh, because you watch us, you watch us upgrade our gears, you watch us say what, what's good and what's bad, but we don't always come out and say, you know, this is what's good for us, for our account, for our progression, for our level of play, right? Because every account is different. And for the most part, a lot of the accounts that you see are end game. They are at the end game where you're looking for those top 15% of gears, where you need those high triple rolls to get something good, something worthwhile, and they need to be specific sets, right? But a lot of players aren't like that, especially the players who have just started the game. If you've just started the game, you should be keeping things that you can gamble on. You should be keeping things that can be an upgrade because if it upgrades this bottom line here, if you can raise that and have a whole bunch of gear above that, that's gonna be what improves your account because you're gonna have what's called depth, right? It's not always about quality. Quality is up here is quality this this is depth never underestimate that you need both a lot of people feel like you only need quality right you only need top end quality gear and sure that can that that could make sense if you have a lot of it but the only time you're gonna have a lot of quality is when your depth has reached that level You need to improve this bottom end right here so that you can climb up and make all of your, your gear good, right? Quality and depth. Depth is really important. Quality just comes with time. Depth, honestly, just, just it's there. It always comes as you play the game. You can build your depth very easily and then you improve it over time. An example of what I mean when I talk about depth is things like this. So when I look at my weapons here, for speed set, I see a 9 speed, I see a 4 speed, I see a 13 speed, an 8 speed, and a 10 speed, right? So in terms of like the actual support ones, I have maybe two support weapons that are high enough speed. This having the high crit chance means it's more of a bruiser piece of gear, right? And then I can see that I have, this is pretty average, all right? And I have a piece of, a decent, a couple pieces of decent like actual damage gear. So when I'm talking about depth, what I'm saying is if I can find something that's similar to like this type of stat or this type of stat or better, then that's what I need to be keeping, right? Not everything has to be like some crazy, amazing piece of gear, right? Not everything has to be this crazy, like max rolled piece of gear, right? Keeping things that are decent is how you improve your account. So I don't know how many times I need to stress this, but please work on the depth of the gear in your account because that is going to be the biggest improvement for you. If you are ever unsure or you have questions, you can always feel free to ask players, right? There are tons of people out here who want to help, who want to help you succeed, who want to succeed, who want to build a community. You can ask me in my Discord. You can ask my guildmates. You can ask my friends. You can ask streamers. All of us are out here trying to be the best resource that we can be for you guys and to have fun while we're doing it. I want you to remember, and the one thing I really want you to take away from this is that it doesn't have to be a perfect godlike piece to be good for you and for your account. So thank you for watching the video. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave comments below. I will try to answer all of them like I did in my last video. A uh, huge shout out to um, to my friend X Guy King. If you guys don't know him, he streams on Twitch. Um, I'll be away for the following week. I'll be staying with him in Vancouver. Uh, you might catch me a couple times on his stream, so I'll put the link below as well. But besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and informative to you. And if you have any questions or any suggestions on content that I make in the future, please let me know.